Good morning. So today I'm working with Poppy on go to bed and she's very reluctant to go to the bed at all. So, and so what I'm doing is I'm planting stuff there on the bed so that she can find it. And when she finds it, then I improve on that by adding circuitously, I add more value to the bed. So we're going to give her freedom to explore. I have a baby gate up at the end of the kitchen. Um, I'm going to shut the door to outside so that the view of the training zone is a little smaller and less, less interesting, if you will, less distracting. So she has more opportunity to uh, test out the bed. So I'm cutting up treats, so I'm busy, but hopefully that will allow her the freedom, the social pressure freedom to be able to explore. We'll just see how this goes. So I'm going to load up the area, if you will, for her to explore. But again, no request to go to bed or anything just yet. I just want her to see that there's value in the place. And so um, we'll just give her that space, if you will, to explore, explore it herself. And then while she's doing that, without making a big deal of it, I'm going to add value to it. Now, I'm also, although this is difficult and I can't do that, <laughs> we figured out it, I couldn't do um, this type of training and add the sound of the ring, ring tone. So we have to do one or the other, which is kind of frustrating, but that's okay. So again, freedom to do what she wants here, but when she is interested in, I wonder if there's something on the bed, and explores there, then I can make it pay off for her. So, I don't know if you see her, but she's, okay, she's exploring, so I'm gonna pay off. If I can get my aim a little better. <laughs> That's why I chose a bigger bed, so my aim, if it was slightly off, would still be on the bed, at least. <laughs> now, I realize that she doesn't have all four on there, meaning all four leg pieces on there, but I'm willing to have her explore enough to where she may put all four on there I'm going to try a little bit harder for her, something a little harder where she has to lean onto it. Such a good girl. And then, now of course you've got a narrow width to the bed, and you have a wider width to the bed. Now that's a really good move there for you on your part. That was very brave. So, very good. Look at you. Let's have a jackpot for that. My goodness, she said, this is good. And here she's got four on the bed, right? So she's actually ideally situated on the bed. Okay, so I'm going to stop giving stuff now. Of course, you can morph them into, you could use a hand signal, see if you can get her to come on. No name yet, I'm not going to use go to bed because we don't have the action yet. There you go, good girl. Such a clever puppy. Good, good. I want to try and get my treats on the bed. So putting my hand down is a bit of a lure because I did have food there, so the smell of that draws her to my hand. Um, and ideally what we want to do is have her jackpot when she volunteers the move onto the bed, meaning all four. Very good, look at you stalling on the bed. That's the next step. Is this reminiscent of, of uh, crate training or what, huh? Good girl. So we build the value, slowly build the value of the place. Anyway, 
we'll be doing more of this today. And then hopefully during the day as it builds value for her, we'll be able to add a name and then we'll practice go to bed. All right.